just would slide into that slot there and the screw would tighten, lowering that level. Now eventually all the blood would rush to the ends of your fingers, sometimes resulting in them popping. On the other side is the periwinkles. Sounds quite cute. <laughs> It's actually the child's version of the thumb screws. If you were seven or above here in Scotland, you could get tortured. The jawbreaker on the other side would slide into your mouth and the screw would loosen, opening your jaw wider and wider until it broke. You would not be able to speak or eat. You would die a very slow, painful death. The scavenger's daughter just here in the middle, behind your head, madam, yes. Your head would go in the bottom brace and your hands in the smaller ones, bending you either forwards backwards for hours on end, leaving you very deformed. The tearing tongs that we have in the red cabinet over that other side there, we used to pull off parts of your body that were a bit smaller, like your ears or your nose, your tongue. It just clamp on, twist and rip it out. You would bleed to death. The bamboo slivers in the blue cabinet would slide under your fingernails and would be twisted until your nails popped off. We then put your hands in a bowl of salty water, just because we're lovely here in Scotland. <laughs> the knotted rope at the back too would tie over your eyes, with the knotted bit sitting in your sockets. Now the wooden bit at the back would be twisted very slowly, applying pressure to your eyes. Eventually the pressure would get so much that your eyes would actually pop out of their sockets. We've got some shackles here to hang you from a tree so that we can whip you, or pull you behind a cart over the cobblestones in Edinburgh. Um, the flesh hook and claws we use to rip out flesh in your body. Um, here we have one that we like to use on our accused witches. There's one, there you go, sir. And it was heated up and placed over your head, so you'd come out with horrific burn marks, and that little plate there in the middle would be heated up and would rest on your tongue. Now, you'd come out with a speech impediment, and for witches, this was great, because you were no longer able to say your incantations. The one at the top of the bridle, that was heated up and placed on a prisoner's face. Now, if they survived those burn marks, we'd then inflict more pain, not by poking things in those holes, but by pouring boiling hot water down them. You could be cooked from the inside out.